Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Saturday night, the Diamondbacks beat the Mets in Phoenix 2-1, to one, an extremely frustrating yeah. game for the Mets. Bartolo Colon held the Diamondbacks scoreless for the first six and two-thirds, gave up a single and a two-run homer to Wellington Castillo, and that was enough to beat him. We were just trying to start him off with a, a sinker down and away. Um, you know, just missed... Miss Middle was one of the very few mistakes he made all day. Um, you know, he was awesome all day. So, uh, you know, I don't know if he was thinking about the runner a little bit, maybe trying to keep him close, um, you know, and it just lets it out of the plate. Yeah, he's been outstanding. I, you can't say enough about him. I mean, the guy does everything you want him to do. He's a professional about his job. He's, you know, he's, he's actually, you know, he doesn't like to hit, but he's taking it to heart that he's got to be better at it, and he has. Um, he fields his position. He holds base runners, he does all the things you're supposed to do. You know, he pitches his heart out tonight, and, you know, we don't, uh, we can't get him any runs. That's, uh, you know, it's, it's, again, that's just part of the game. That's one of the things that you got to get through. No, I mean, that stuff happens in the game of baseball. Um, you know, I thought he's, he pitched a great game. Uh, you know, two runs to a team like that is, uh, is a really good game, especially through seven innings. You know, um, we just didn't give him, give him enough run support. You know, they just made the trade. The uh, Diamondbacks needed a little more offense. They needed a catcher. They went out and got Castillo, and he was the hero of the night for them with a two-run homer. Let's not take away from Bartolo Colon, who was outstanding, but the only way he could have won this game is to win it one nothing. So the two-run home run beat him. Uh, the Mets offense, well, they, I guess they had plenty of it in hits. They had ten hits, uh, but were only able to score one run, and that one run honestly came on the home run by Juan Lagaris, who's been hitting the ball better of late. But one run, um, giving up two runs in this ballpark to the Diamondback team. You should win those games 90% of the time. The Mets didn't tonight. You know, you just got to work through it. You can't let it get to you. You can't let it get too frustrated. Um, you know, you just got to continue to press forward and continue to try to get these guys to, uh, uh, again, use the whole field to hit, put the ball in play, try to, uh, manufacture some runs as best we can, but we're just not getting any hits. Two nights in a row, we had bases loaded and haven't done anything with it. And, uh, you know, tonight, it's just, you know, that's just the way things go. I mean, you, Ziegler's real tough on righties, and, you, you know, you hit a big high chopper, and where does it come down? Right on top of third base. Of all, you know, the only place it, is it hurts you, and uh, that's just the way it is. Mets had base runners in every inning, and they hit into four double plays. They got two runners aboard in the ninth inning, and then John Mayberry hit a chopper to third that somehow turned into a game-ending double play. And somehow stayed fair. I mean, it's almost like he hit it off the plate. The ball was in the air forever, but Jake Lamb, who had come in for Yasmani Thomas uh, earlier, and it struck out to end the rally for them at the bottom of the eighth, and he made up for it with his good defense. So the Mets will need a win on Sunday to get a split of the four-game series. They'll have the red-hot Jacob DeGrom on the mound against Josh Colmenter. Our coverage begins Sunday afternoon with Pepsi pregame live at 3.30 on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.